my uh, netbook thing has decided to take a photo randomly. For a change I thought I'd put the lights on. And you can see this ugly mush for a change. Um, so, this video is going to be talking about my e-lite and uh, what I use. Uh, you may have seen me making videos with this and another one I recently used. Um, and uh, yeah, just want to mark out the experience of it. Now I'm going to put forward that I am not a smoker, but I like to use the e-lights. Now I know what you're going to say, Oh, but you should be touching it, blah blah blah. You don't know what's in it. Well, I'm not as worried as some people think. Um, I don't really give a crap, to be honest. It, this, you know, is going to be more safer, I think, than any cigarette on the market by far because one they put the actual ingredients on the bottles you know bottles of stuff and they do a very good job of telling me what's inside it unlike cigarettes which don't tell you exactly what's in it until later on when they tell you that there's tar and all sorts of crap in it but uh, another reason why i got it is because it's cool it, look, it makes me look a little bit cool maybe i don't know um we all had a thing when we were in school that made us look cool. I always wanted to smoke, but I didn't smoke. So, in the end, I got this. In the end, through the eras. And um, another th great thing about it is it does slow down people from smoking. You know, a great little tool to keep people going. And uh, it means it's safe for other people to smoke it. The bad news is it makes other kids smoke with them and and uh, teach them that this is a okay system but I really don't care about that system to be honest with you I think that's just the cigarette companies trying to have a go at the kids you know for trying something that they want to do but doesn't have any effects over them compared to cigarettes and stuff like that that makes them addicted to it okay I'm gonna go through a few things that I've enjoyed about mine this thing right here is the Sir so grow or whatever right there this has to be near the worst e-cigarette i've ever had in my life honestly um why because the battery life in these are typical they only last so long each and uh over time you'd be charging this more than smoking one um and this is my second one um if i remember rightly sean had one of these but because he left, I had his basically. So this is his um, e-light thing. So already one of these is busted after the first go. I got this basically at uh, my local Tesco um, in my hometown where the flat is, where I'm, you know, based at the moment in time. And this is just, you know, out and about sort of thing. But I recently got a, a bigger one. Uh, and the battery in that is superb. It actually does last as long as they did say uh, in in a little shopping centre thing. Now, is that a, uh, I'm wondering if that's a, a dent. Ooh, that's interesting. I don't know what that is. Anyway, um, so this was my ever. So this was basically my first ever one. Um, and uh, it's done me wonders, it's done me great. Um, I haven't got these uh, things from expensive shops, as you can tell. The, this is actually from a Poundland, this refill thing. And uh, basically because they're easy to you know, get, and because the Poundland one does as great job as the one that came with this one, I didn't see the point of... Um, getting an expensive top to it i just get the cheaper versions they seem to last at the same time and in fact i think these are stronger so this one is eight eight vape it looks like they've gone into the panland business but anyway i've got a fatter one at home and it seems to work 20 times longer it works with the same thing i went i wanted to go for something much more bigger in battery wise but the other pen i've got at home seems to work a lot longer than this thing so I may 
last a little longer with it. I don't know, but the button is like inside, so it's a little bit harder to reach when you're starting it. Like so. I mean, that's oh, that's terrible. The batteries must be getting flat. Anyway, let me go through some of the bottles. This one's called Crystal E Liquid, and this is the bubble gum. This is the longest one we've ever had as refills. Um, this seemed to have lasted quite a long time. Um, on Amazon, uh, it says 50 milliliters, which means you get, f well, five bottles of this right here. And let me just tell you that one of them will last you for quite some time, depending on how many times you puff one of these things. I've also had one of the energy drink versions of these, but wasn't as strong, I think, as the bubble gum, but still a very good one, nevertheless. So, yeah, and that'll be like a yellowy sort of thing. I've also ordered a cherry version or something like that. And um, I'm not going to make a follow-up video to it, but I'll probably, I don't know. If you ask how it goes, I'll sustain a comment below and say what the cherry one's like. Um, or whatever the flavour is I got. Remember, I get five bottles, not one big bottle. I was hoping for a big bottle, but it turns out to be five small bottles. I don't think they do really big bottles yet. As a tester, we got two more different e-liquids. And this one's called e-fast liquid. And this one's called a premium, even though this shouldn't be stated as a premium product. Um... A couple of things that um, makes me laugh about these were we got a, um, uh, I think it was a pineapple one or something, or some sort of mango or some shit, and that one was disgusting, very disgusting, and it was with another flavour, and it was like smoking puke, I'm not joking. But this one um, isn't too bad, it's called Strawberry Mint. It's got a bit of strawberry, it's got a bit of mint. More mint than strawberry, I think, in this. And um, it smells pretty nice. Actually, it does freshen your breath a little bit. It does freshen your breath a little bit and makes you drunk and drink. But by far, I think the Crystal E-Liquids are not too bad. I mean, you get a lot of them and they're cheap. I believe I got like a whole load of them for four quid or three quid or something online. Um, I believe one of these on their own wasn't too cheap, but still, we wanted to try out the flavours so we can get them in a load of orders and, you know, get more than 10 millilitres and stuff like that, so. And we tried uh, the other one, the uh, the other fruit one, and it was crap. Um, it was absolutely crap. Uh, it, as I said, it tasted like puke, and as soon as I tried it, about, I don't know, I think I only had a little bit. I think Sean liked it, but I didn't like it. And in the end, I just threw it because I just didn't want to smell it or smoke it. You know, this is not smoking. This is just vaporing, if you will. But this one seems to be okay. I'm not getting it again, but it's all right. So, yeah, basically, that's my experience so far with the e-cigarette. I might make a follow-up video of what I hate and like about the pen versions because at the moment in time this pen version is not the grass uh, not the best god i can't speak in this video sorry as this one has the smallest piece of shit battery imaginable and uh to charge it um it literally takes then no time to charge the other one uh charges forever it just goes and goes and goes it charges for near a day and then you get near enough six or seven days out of it if you're puffing it only so often when you feel that you need that you know stress relief or whatever with your e-cigarette I just basically use it because I want to use it and uh, there's no crime in it I'm over 18 so who, who cares I mean as long as an under 18 year old doesn't you know get it it won't matter but as I stated there's nothing wrong with this anyway because it's like it's got all the ingredients in small writing and uh, there's one difference between uh, this one and this one. This one doesn't contain nicotine, and for some reason this one has a nicotine substitute or something, which doesn't make any fucking sense. Either give us the nicotine or don't. 
But anyway, I only smoke this so only so often because even though it's okay, even though it's a nice sort of taste, it really can get on your nerves. So I do mix and match now and again, which is why I had some bubble gum left. So I brought that with me. By the way, uh, I only use this for portability. Uh, the other e-cigarette bottom part, this thing right here, the fat one, is used at home now. So I use that at home, I use this for when I'm travelling to my mum's or whatever. So there you go. Here's my little history of it. Um, so far, so good. They're okay. Um, one thing you've got to consider is these sort of non-nicotine versions are uh, well they they can make you thirsty a lot more so when you're smoking this make sure you have a drink on standby obviously it doesn't you know i don't know it applies to other people how it works but um yeah it seems to be good to me and uh what's great about it is as i said this one doesn't have nicotine in it so i mean even if it does have nicotine in it nicotine doesn't always get you addicted it's actually the other crap that they put in it. Also, um, I believe as well that um, this is a bit more better than cigarettes. So, if you see your kid smoking this, it's better than smoking the real deal. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's all I've really covered. Yeah, I think so. I mean, as I said, you know, mix and match. That's what I have to say with these things. I'm not saying it's a great thing or a bad thing to smoke these, but I wouldn't be surprised if a kid actually started smoking these. Uh, maybe under 18, but 18, pff, what's the har fucking harm? I mean, if they get the nicotine version, fair enough, because Poundland only sell the nicotine versions, which really suck. I mean, what's good is, is that you can get the nicotine or non-nicotine version, which is really good. So, goods and bads about it, so a flip side to the coin. So, I'm weird out. Time to go. Thanks for watching.